Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, there's a lot of things to go over, so let's jump right in. First up, PayPal is said to be in talks to buy the cryptocurrency exchange BitGo. And one thing to note is that it says to buy crypto firms, plural, meaning that PayPal is looking to make major moves in this space also. We need to take a look at a report from eToro, which talks about what moves the prices of crypto assets, which is going to flow into the Fidelity Digital Assets Investment Thesis, where we take a look at what exactly is driving this market, and it's all news, data, artificial intelligence. And what it all comes down to is if you can be in the know faster than anybody, you can make spectacular moves, like the ones I was notified today about, and how AI, data analytics, and news alerts is going to push this market and how you can get notified of the same things that the big institutional players get notified about. So before we get into all that, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today, it is the 23rd. It was Friday. Congratulations. We made it. And uh, it's been a pretty good week, although we've seen a little bit of slippage, but not surprising for what is going on. If you're living under a rock and you're not in the cryptocurrency markets, uh, just know that PayPal is making fantastic moves and they're going to be selling, buying, trading cryptocurrency digital assets. And for a lot of people, it's already on their app right now. I had a couple of subscribers send me their screenshots. So uh, things are moving fast. Anyhow, Bitcoin down almost 2% for the day, but we had a massive run up. We're up 12% for the week. Ethereum is down a little bit, but again, massive run up. Uh, tethers tether, nobody cares. XRP down a little bit, but hey, still at 25 cents. It's not bad. Bitcoin cash down a little bit. Chainlink down a little bit. Everything's down a little bit, but yesterday was just one of those monster days. Last two days have been great. News really does drive everything that's uh not everything but a lot of things that's going on in crypto and digital assets and this is just one indicator this was huge news and i thought it's going to actually uh, propel us into 2021 so paypal is going to be uh buying selling trading bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash and litecoin so interesting snub of xrp but hey what are you gonna do didn't want it and then uh, let's see if there's anything majorly crazy down here 6.2 down for dash that's interesting Synthetics down 5%. Yearn is up 3%. Well, great job for Yearn. Although uh, it is down from a high of like almost 40 grand. So just saying. And then uh, oof, 11% for Filecoin. I know there was a issue with the miners, but it looks like there might be turned around. But uh, I, that's very volatile. Anyway, that's about it. So expect uh, dips and valleys and peaks and troughs uh, over the next couple months because things are about to get dicey with the presidential election. But I think after November, December, I think we should be a little bit smoother and especially going to 2021. But we will see. All right, let's jump to today's top story. So first up, uh, PayPal is looking to buy firms, not a firm, not an exchange, but, uh, you know, firms, just a little acquisition for PayPal. And uh, one of those is going to be BitGo. And this is what we talked about yesterday. And I had talked, I had said, you know, it's interesting that PayPal is getting into the game, but, you know, who's going to custody all of these digital assets? Because uh, if you were like MicroStrategy, you just partner up with somebody else. If you were like Square, you build it from the from the ground up. And I thought they would do one of those two. But again, I was wrong. And uh, PayPal just said, hey, we're just going to buy BitGo. So BitGo was the first U.S. crypto firm to secure broker dealer approval, transfer agent registration and trust company recognition, allowing it to provide custody. That's the big word and record keeping services. So instead of them just, you know, dragging their feet and going, yeah, we'll get to it. PayPal's like, you know what? We don't want to build it and we don't want to partner. We'll just buy somebody. <laughs> and that's how it goes with big businesses that have a ton of money. And maybe uh, they're just looking at the future and going, you know what? This is a multi-trillion dollar industry. We need to get in this now. We need to be, we, we're we really a bunch of laggards uh, and just kind of uh, dragging along. So let's uh, let's pick up the pace, boys. What is interesting though, is that the this story, this price action really doesn't move much. I'm, I mean, PayPal was the big story. This is just uh, secondary. So, I mean, for us, this is huge. But for the masses, they don't care. They're like, we don't we, we don't care. Unless, unless Zell comes out and says, hey, we're also doing the same thing. But that's the great thing about being in the know and being really entrenched in this industry. We see moves like this and it just gives us fuel because while everybody is sleeping out there, the, the, the masses, uh, we are preparing. We are preparing for what is about to happen. It is going to come in waves. It is going to be enormous and it's going to be bigger than 2017. I can guarantee that. So when all these things are happening, it just says, hey, it's time to, to really you know, get going about what is happening. And I don't know what you're going to do. But for me personally, I have increased my dollar cost average positions. I'm putting a little bit more money in. Not everything. 
but uh, I do see big things on the horizon. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on. So next.